Hi there, I'm Emily Muehlstein, and this is a presentation on Refish Amendment 28 that addresses red snapper allocation and also recreational accountability measures in the red snapper fishery. So the Council is considering adjusting the red snapper allocation between commercial and recreational fishing sectors, and they also are looking into establishing additional recreational accountability measures. Action 1 looks at reallocating the red snapper quota between the commercial and recreational fishing sectors to increase the net benefits of red snapper fishing. The second action aims to reduce the probability of exceeding the recreational quota by establishing additional recreational accountability measures. So for action 1, the current allocation is 51% commercial and 49% recreational. The current quota is 11 million pounds, so that leaves the commercial fishery with 5,610,000 pounds of red snapper and the recreational sector with 5,390,000 pounds of red snapper. So there are a number of different alternatives for action one. The first alternative is the no action alternative, and that would leave the current 51% commercial, 49% recreational split. Alternative two would increase the recreational sector's allocation by 3%. Alternative three would increase the recreational sector's allocation by 5%, and alternative four would increase the recreational sector's allocation by 10%. The Council's current preferred alternative is alternative five, and if the red snapper quota is less than or equal to 9.12 million pounds, then we would maintain the current commercial 51% and recreational 49% split but if the quota goes greater than 9.12 million pounds, then we would allocate 75% of the amount in excess to the recreational sector and 25% to the commercial sector. We're using that 9.12 million pound benchmark because that was the level that the quota was at when the council voted to initiate the commercial IFQ program. Alternative 6 uses that same 9.12 million pound benchmark and we would maintain the current commercial 51% and recreational 49% split, but if the quota is greater than 9.12 million pounds, then 100% of the amount in excess would go to the recreational sector. And finally, Alternative 7 uses a 10 million pound benchmark. So if the quota is at or less than 10 million pounds, then we would maintain the current 51% commercial, 49% recreational split, but if it goes above 10 million pounds, we would allocate 75% of the amount in excess to the recreational sector and the remaining 25% to the commercial sector. We're using that 10 million pounds because it kind of splits the difference between the 9.12 million pounds that we had during the initiation of the individual fishing quota program and the current 11 million pound quota. This is a summary of the alternatives for Action 1, and if you look at the columns that show millions of pounds, those numbers are based off of the current 11 million pound quota. Moving on to Action 2, which deals with recreational accountability measures. The current recreational red snapper accountability measure is an in-season closure. A recent court ruling found that National Marine Fishery Service did not require accountability measures that were adequate to prohibit the retention of red snapper after the quota had been met. So in response, the council added a 20% buffer to the recreational quota. Now the council is considering adding additional recreational red snapper accountability measures. Action 2.1 considers adding an annual catch target. An annual catch target is a level of harvest that is set below the quota to ensure that the quota is not overfished. Alternative 1 is the no action alternative and would not create an annual catch target. Alternative 2 would establish an annual catch target with a 20% buffer based on the annual catch limit annual catch target control rule. Alternative 3 would establish an annual catch target using a 30% buffer based on the 2012 overage. Alternative four would establish an annual catch target using a 40% buffer based on the average overage from 2011 through 2013. And alternative five would establish an annual catch target using a 60% buffer, which is based on the 2013 overage. This figure shows the different alternatives for Action 2.1 
Based on the 11 million pound quota and the selection of preferred alternative 5 for action 1. Action 2.2 considers overage adjustments. The first alternative is the no action alternative and would not add an overage adjustment. Alternative 2 would deduct the full amount of an overage from the quota in the following season while Red Snapper is under a rebuilding plan. In alternative 3, the full amount of the overage would be deducted from the quota in the following season while Red Snapper is under rebuilding, and also the annual catch target would further be reduced by option A, 100% of the overage, option B, 50% of the overage, or option C, 30% of the overage. This figure shows the consequences of a hypothetical overage under action 2.2. So if you look at the far left of your screen, this is based on an 11 million pound quota. And if we also base it on Action 1, Alternative 5, that leaves the recreational sector with 5.88 million pounds. We added the 20% buffer because that's what the council chose this year, and that leaves us with an annual catch target of 4.7 million pounds for the recreational fishery. Now if there was a hypothetical overage in the year 2015, then we would reduce the quota by 500,000 pounds under Action 2.2 if we chose Alternative 2. And then we would also use that buffer again to establish an ACT of 4.3 million pounds. Now if you look even further to the right, there are three different options under Action 2.2, Alternative 3. So if we were to reduce the quota by 500,000 pounds by adding the overage adjustment and then further reduce the annual catch target by a certain percentage, it would be either 100%, 50%, or 30% of the overage. So the council would like to hear your comments on this amendment. We've already gone out to physical public hearings and done a video and also taken online comments. But since we've added this accountability measures action, we'd like to hear from you again. You can comment online or you can email us at golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org. Thanks so much for your time.